standing ovation. You shouldn't have. Actually, you should have. That's why we have that big sign that says, stand up, whenever we light it up. I'm so glad you followed your directions, audience. Welcome back to the afternoon show, everyone, where we've taken the traditional Tonight Show format and moved it earlier in the day when you're all still fresh. Well, let's do it. Let's meet our next pint-sized celebrity guest. Give it up for Tyler! Hello, everybody! Hello, Tyler! Welcome. It's going great. Welcome to the afternoon show. So, Tyler, uh, Tyler, are you excited to be on this stage? Yes, I think I've been on here before, actually. I think you have, too. Tyler, are you at all nervous uh, having to follow the tough act to follow who was the kid governor of Oklahoma? Does that worry you at all? I mean, there was a governor just here a minute ago. Does, does that make you, like, are you, are you feeling clammed up or you think you're going to be okay? Not at all. I feel perfect. Okay, good. Well, that's the mark of a good governor, making everyone feel welcome. Well, Tyler, tell us, what would you like to do on our stage? Well, today I'm actually, I'm not going to spell it, but I'm going to pronounce and give the, de the definition of the longest word in the dictionary. Whoa, very nice. <laughs> okay. And it's probably, thank if it's you. the longest word, it's probably good that you're not going to spell it, because we'd be here for the rest of the day. <laughs> so thank you yeah, for trucking exactly, it. Exactly. It's actually 45 letters long. Yikes! Oh, that sounds like I a good uh, that up. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tyler, what is the longest word in the dictionary? Here we go. It's called Nomona Ultramicroscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. <laughs> Oh, come on. You just made that up. It's like you're just, uh, you know, you're taking ingredients and just smushing them together. Just random words. I mean, random letters. That's no, not a real, real word. Real word. Really? Real Wait, word. Say it one more time, Tyler. Okay, I'll do it slowly. The Mona Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. <laughs> I'm so glad you did it slower because now I had longer to believe that you were just making it up. Oh, Tyler, what does that word mean? So this big word is basically, it's kind of an illness you can get when you breathe in the ashes and dust that are found in volcanoes. Oh, I see. So hopefully none of our listeners will ever actually know that word because they haven't yeah. spent too much time next to active volcanoes. So that word is an illness that you can get if you breathe in the ash or dust that comes out of like an actively erupting volcano. Did I hear you right? That's true. Oh, my gosh. And wait, okay, a couple questions. First of all, how did you find this word? I think I found it online. Okay, that makes sense. Otherwise, you'd have to just, uh, like, thumb through the dictionary and just look for, like, a like a page that's sort of sticking out because the, the word is too long. Like, <laughs> a page that's thicker than all the others because of the size of that word. Uh, second question, yeah. follow-up, Tyler. How long did it take you to learn the pronunciation of that word? I can't imagine that you read it right the first time, did you? I heard of it about, about a year ago, and I think it only took me about a few minutes to memorize it all. Okay, so you, so you had to kind of break it down into the syllables and just practice a few times, and now it's just yep. in your brain. So you could just call it up yep. at any moment. You could say that word. Yep. Okay, one last time. Audience, uh, save your applause until Tyler's done. One more time, Tyler. Please say that word. Okay. The Mona Ultra... Oh, here you go, kids. The Mona Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. <laughs> 